So I've been gone for about a week or so thanks to falling ill. I'm much better now and thank you to everyone who sent me their well wishes in the last week. Another thing that happened in the last week is that the channel hit 2000 subscribers. I was just going to do a regular Q&A but I think I'll title the video to celebrate the milestone as well because why not? But I just wanted to thank all of you who decided to subscribe and stuck around with the channel and who's enjoying the content. Especially thank you to all of you who comments down below, I do read each and every comment and if you can find a comment that I haven't responded to, that will be the rarest exception. So definitely leave your comments in the videos if you want to because I'll definitely engage with you. Other than that, again, thank you to everyone who subscribed. I'm very glad that we're at the 2000 mark. The next goal is 5000, so let's see if we can get there. Anyway, there's quite a few questions to get through, so we may as well get started. I'll just put some nice Cosmio art in the background for you guys to enjoy. Also, if you have any questions you want to ask, leave it in the comments. If there's enough for a second video, I'll be more than happy to make it. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Well, Pergus asks, what are your thoughts on the upcoming fantasy TV shows, Witcher Season 2 and Season 1, Wheel of Time and Lord of the Rings? I'm actually very excited for the second Witcher season. I watched the first and while I feel like they did capture the soul of the story well enough, I think they lacked a level of polish on that season that would have really elevated it to the next level. Having seen the trailer for season 2, it does look promising and it seems like they may be fixing that lack of polish this time around. I'm thinking of doing a full review on the first season in November just before season 2 comes out and then of course doing a season 2 review as well. Wheel of Time I'm of course excited for, though I'm keeping my expectations in check. I haven't read much of the series but from what I've read I really hope that they do it justice. The Lord of the Rings series has very little information out about it but I'm all for it being a thing. I've had the opinion for a long time that there needs to be more fantasy series and not just films and now it seems like we're finally getting there. Fingers crossed for the first Cosmia adaptation though. Zach Billendorf asks, I'm always interested to know what books or authors got people into fantasy. Well, the first real fantasy series that I read was the Harry Potter series when I was just a kid. JK Rowling did an amazing job with it and I still love it to this day, despite being very aware of its flaws. The first series that got me into wider fantasy was the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. I read all of those books and I loved it, but without a proper ending I was hungry for more. And the rest, as they say, is history. Pop Culture Fish asks, Do you see other magic systems entering other Cosmia planets like Radiance on Scadrail? Do you think it's something we will see used more soon? Well, I think it's a very likely scenario. I doubt we'll see much in terms of magics from Cell entering the other planets. For an explanation, check out my Cosmia 101 video on the planet. Now, I won't go into heavy spoilers here since I know you aren't caught up yet and many of you guys watching possibly aren't either. But it was heavily implied in Rhythm of War that we'll be seeing more Cosmia magics and worlds overlapping in future. And considering that Brandon said that Scadriel will eventually go to the space stage, I can't imagine that there wouldn't be some kind of overlap in future books. How it will work exactly I couldn't say, but it seems like it definitely will be a thing going forward. Milo M asks, if you could bring any character you've read to life, I mean to real life, who would it be and why? Well, I'll give you two answers on this. From the Cosmia, I'd love to sit down and chat with Seized. He seems like the calm uncle I never had. If not Seized, then for sure Lightsong. If I can't get a dose of wisdom, then I can at least go for a dose of laughter. My second pick would be non-Cosmia, and I don't think I surprise anyone when I say I'd love to sit down and talk with Tyrion Lannister from the Song of Ice and Fire. I think a conversation with him would be one to remember for years afterwards. If not Tyrion, then definitely Ned Stark. I have great respect for the kind of man he represents, and I feel there's a lot I could learn from him. Ishmael Henriquez asks, What are your thoughts on manga slash anime? I love manga and anime. I used to watch anime voraciously when I was in high school, though that has died down now. And I've read a couple of different manga, but I've never really got into it as I did with anime. I do, however, intend on eventually doing videos on certain anime series that I really enjoy. The first would be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but it'll be a while before that happens. Jevi asks, you talk a lot about fantasy books. Do you enjoy any other fantasy media, i.e. comics, games, movies, TV series? Well, of course. 
I suppose I've touched on TV series and some anime, but in terms of movies, I really like the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Harry Potter series. I've also heard good things about the Green Knight which recently released, so I may check that out as well. In terms of games, I'm a huge RPG fan, so yeah, definitely big fantasy elements there. For example, I'm currently doing a lightly modded playthrough of Skyrim, and I also started playing the first Witcher game. I also used to be heavily into an MMORPG called Guild Wars 2, though I'm taking a break from it for now. I love almost all things fantasy, so if there's anything you guys can recommend, feel free to do so in the comments below. Jay Abbott asks, Pizza or Sushi? Be aware there's only one right answer. Well, it's pizza, of course. Don't get me wrong, I love sushi, but not in large amounts. It gets a bit rich for my liking if I have too much of it at a time. But I could eat pizza for days, though I am trying to lose weight, so I probably shouldn't. Soren Markov asks, What is your name? What is your quest? What is the airspeed velocity of an unleaden swallow? Hmm, not so sure I want to give my real name out yet. Tell you what, I'll give my real name when I eventually do a face reveal, alright? My quest is to spread the gospel of fantasy to all and to nerd out about things with all of you guys. And the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow is about 24 miles per hour or 11 meters per second. And yes, I get that it's a Monty Python reference, don't attack me. Pop Culture Fish asks, what are two magic systems in the Cosmere you would like to see someone use as a combo or two you want to see fight each other? Well, the two I'd like to see used as a combo has to be Allomancy and Awakening. Especially if the Awakener is of a high enough heightening to awaken metal. That would be a crazy combination to see in combat. And in terms of fighting each other, I think we'd all like to see a powerful Mistborn face off against the Surge Binder. We've had quite a few discussions on the channel about which would win in a fight, so now I just have to know. Nitsuj, or Justin Backwards, I guess, asked, What's a magic system you've made in your head or drafted for an upcoming novel? Hoo boy, I could literally make a whole video on the magic system I'm developing for the book I'm currently working on. To save time, let me describe it very simply. Users of this magic system are able to meld their souls with the souls of others or objects. This allows the user to manipulate what they've bonded with and to take on some of the characteristics. This is a very simple and non-detailed answer, I am aware. I'm still working on the finer details, but if there's enough of a request for it, I'll make a video on it. Maybe. Cassian Andor asks, what's the difference between a hard and a soft magic system? And which is your favorite to read? Well, a hard magic system is a magic system with clearly defined rules, limitations, and often with some kind of cost. Think of basically any magic system that Brandon Sanderson has done and you'll know what I mean. A soft magic system is one that has basically none of the above and is usually less of a focus in the plot. Think of Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Remember that it's not one extreme or the other, it's more of a sliding scale or spectrum with hard on one side and soft on the other. I should probably do a dedicated video on that at some point, so let me know if you guys would be interested. And regarding what's my favorite to read, well, I like both for different reasons. I won't lie that seeing the different Cosmere magics in action and trying to figure out all the nuances of Investiture isn't fun, I absolutely love that part. But I also enjoy the wonder and awe that comes from a soft magic system that you don't really understand but that still makes you feel like it's immensely powerful. If you had to put a gun to my head, I'd go with the hard magic but I really love soft magic too and like both just about equally. Zach Billendorf asks, what's your single favorite Cosmere book? You may have answered this before, but I'm new to your channel, lol. <laughs> but no problem, Zach. I did a video on my top 5 Cosmere books a short while back, so you should check it out. But to answer your question, I'd put Way of Kings as my top favorite Cosmere book for now. I am rereading the whole Cosmere, so that might change in a year or so, but that's my answer for now. Jay Abbott asks, not counting Lord of the Rings, what's the oldest fantasy you've read? Also, what books outside of fantasy do you enjoy the most? Finally, though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven. Ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. To answer your first question, I don't really read much old fantasy. The oldest one I can think of right now is Eye of the World, since that was published in 1990. For your second question, I'll basically say anything done by Stephen King. 
I know it's still got some fantasy elements to it or horror elements, but most don't and I have yet to find a book of his that I just don't enjoy. As to your third question, is that an Edgar Allan Poe quote? I can't say I've really ever looked into Poe, but I do eventually want to go into classic literature as well, at least the most prominent examples. Mary Ann Montella asks, what's your favourite TV or movie adaptation from books? What's your most disappointing read so far? And who are you? Well, my favourite movie adaptation has to be either Lord of the Rings or the last two Harry Potter films. In terms of a TV series, probably the first four seasons of Game of Thrones, but it was definitely trash after the fourth season, so none of those that followed after. My most disappointing read, well, I generally avoid books with poor reviews. I would have to say Red Seas Under Red Skies, the second Gentleman Bastards book. I think I was a bit too nice in the review I did, but the more I think about it, the more unhappy I am with the way it turned out. And as to your third question, who am I? Why, I'm just your friendly raven, of course. Peter Zakinski asks, When do you reasonably think you'll finish Wheel of Time, and who is your favourite character, assuming you're planning on finishing? Well, I am absolutely planning on finishing. A reasonable time for me to be done with it, considering I'm only about two books in, probably mid to late next year. I have a lot else to read and real life often intrudes, so as much as I want to, I can't really promise any faster than that. And my favourite character so far is Perrin, though I don't want to confirm any favourites until I've caught up with the series. And finally, we have the most important question of all. Nexi Shadow asks, why? Well, Nixie, why not? Why not do anything and everything your heart desires? Why not tackle the hard things in life and take joy in the small things? Why not get closer with loved ones and have laughs with friends? The question in life should never be why. It should always be, why not? But that has been all the questions. Remember that if you want a part 2, then comment below and if there's enough questions, I'll make a video for sure. Also, I'll be easing myself back into uploading again after this break, so just bear with me if there are any hiccups or delays with upcoming videos. Also, remember to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Anyway, that's it from me for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. My name has been Raven, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.